Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time we end up doing this. I'm recording this outside, it's actually rather nice, except for a bunch of really annoying year sevens running around on some kind of treasure hunt that Mr. Kelsa, Mr. Kelsall has organized. But anyway, never mind. Today we're gonna look at describing enlargements, okay? Um, and you've got the work in classroom already and everything. I am going to go through a couple of examples, that's two. I don't know why I had to say that. And, and you are on your way, so let's get going. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've nicked this from um, my maths. Um, I'm going to have a look at the two questions, the one on the left and the one on the right, and we're going to take it from there. Right, so if you look at it, on the left, uh, when describing an enlargement, the first thing you have to do in the exam is to actually name the transformation. You have to say it's an enlargement, because in the exam they're not going to tell you to describe the enlargement. They will tell you to describe the transformation, and you have to say it's an enlargement, and you have to also and you have to provide the center of enlargement and the scale factor. So if you look at the question on the left, g prime is an enlargement of g. So we started with g and we ended up at g dash, or g prime. Okay, cool. So the easy thing is the scale factor. And to find the scale factor, I'm going to look and see that um, the bottom line is 2. And on the enlarged shape, uh, it is 6 long. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, so the scale factor is 3. So it's an enlargement by a scale factor of 3 and then to find the center of enlargement all you have to do is join uh, corresponding corners of the shape with straight lines and the point where the lines meet that's the center of enlargement so it is quite easy to see that those two lines or those two corners go there if I join up these other two corners carefully um, like so uh, they meet at the point 3 minus 4 but just to be sure I could join those two corners and I can see that that's right they actually uh, cross at the point 3 minus 4 so I would say that it's an enlargement Scale factor 3 with the center of enlargement at 3 minus 4. There you go, sorted, easy. Now, let's look at the one uh, on the right. Um, so the one on the right, they tell me that B prime, B dash, the blue triangle, is the enlargement of the bigger one. We have ended up with a smaller one. So if the enlargement has resulted on a smaller triangle, that means what? that the scale factor must be a fraction. So again, I'm gonna look here. This is four long, and the other one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long. So four divided by eight is a half. So the scale factor is one over two, is a half. Cool, excellent, done. Remember, it's an enlargement, scale factor a half, and now I need to find the center of enlargement. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I get my ruler. And I am going to join uh, corresponding corners with straight lines. That one there, this one, if it wants to go, is going to go there. And you can already see where I'm just trying to be uh, and get everything sorted here. And the center of enlargement is 0 minus 5, just to make sure. I'm going to check that that is the case. Yes, clearly. So it's an enlargement by a scale factor of a half, center of enlargement, zero, minus five. Simple enough. That is how you describe an enlargement. Well done, people. I will see you soon. Bye.